Let's take a closer look. Today we're going to be here at Disney Springs. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Today we're going to be traveling around Disney Springs and we're going to be finding new things here, some new things that are going to be coming in the future and if they have any construction going on, I'll show you guys that. I just wanted to come out to Disney Springs today and see if there was anything new going on and I figured you guys would want to tag along so let's take a closer look. The last time I was here this Wolfgang Puck Bar and Grill was not here. There was a huge wall to the construction and it looks like they have two separate entrances. They have a main entrance there and then to the right right next to the restrooms it looks like they have a walk up. They have some specialty drinks and a gelato bar at this walk up area and a little patio seating. I've never been to a Wolfgang Puck but I've been to Chicken Guy and let me tell you it lives up to the hype, at least to me. It was really good. I'm curious if Disney Style has any new t-shirts. Check out the Tiki Room shirt they have. It's this little sweatshirt, but it's very thin, like t-shirt material. I love that it has the Tiki's on the side, and I believe that's Jose saying, ole, ole, it's showtime. And they have another shirt that says Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room on it. That's pretty neat. And next to that, is the Jungle Cruise Skipper School t-shirt. I would love to go to Skipper School. Captain Jack Sparrow is getting some love on this shirt. And I love the Big Thunder Mountain shirt. That's really neat. It's a baseball tee. I believe this is for girls only or I would totally wear it. We have some Tomorrowland action over here. And then, oh my goodness, that just makes me sad. I just want to ride the Skyway Buckets. But this is the closest I'll get to riding the Buckets. Oh well. Now here at Disney Springs they do have several different food trucks. They just opened up this brand new mac and cheese food truck. Oh yeah, all kinds of different options here. They have a barbecue brisket, macaroni and cheese, a bacon cheeseburger, lobster and shrimp, chicken parmesan, and six cheese crunchy macaroni and cheese that's topped with crunchy cheese puffs. And it comes in a bowl, something like that. Let's see, which one is that? Oh, that's the barbecue brisket. See, it comes with onion rings, barbecue brisket on top of macaroni and cheese. So if you're a fan of mac and cheese, they got you covered here now. And I wanna say this was repurposed from the Hollywood Studios food truck that was once here. They had a Hollywood Studios themed food truck. Just like this was repurposed from Anandapur, this was a Disney Animal Kingdom food truck at one point. You can still see some of the animals on it now. It is the Springs Street Tacos. And this one is still paying homage to Fantasyland with the Fantasy Fair. So it still has its original roots to it that kind of reminds you of Fantasyland. And this place just opened. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Jaleo or Haleo? I'm not sure how to pronounce it, so I'm just gonna butcher it. But it's brand new, just opened over here. And it's right next to Bongo's. And I believe this was the original location for the Wolfgang Puck. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I wanna say this is what replaced Wolfgang Puck and Wolfgang Puck moved to where I just showed you guys over by the restrooms and Chicken Guy. And coming soon to Disney Springs is the NBA experience. This is gonna be a, a very cool idea for Disney Springs and they're doing construction on it as we speak now you guys know this was once the former spot of disney quest an interactive gaming experience they had here at disney springs but those days are long gone now we have nba coming to disney springs well that's going to do it for the west side of disney springs now we're going to head over right across the bridge and i gotta say this is my favorite side of Disney Springs. Well, at least my favorite stores are over here. Let's see if the world of Disney has any new offerings. This place is always changing. Oh, these are new. They have spirit jerseys for your dogs. That's cool. It's part of the Disney Tales pet collections. You can put your dog in a spirit jersey. Now, normally in this section, they sell this Mickey Mouse Club merchandise, but right now, Someone's celebrating a birthday, and I'm very excited to be celebrating Mickey's 90th birthday. And they have all kinds of new merchandise to go along with the celebration, including this hat with ears and birthday Mickey on it. And the mug is pretty neat. It has a little handle with 90 on it because we are celebrating Mickey's 90th birthday. And check out the hoodie they have. That's really neat. I like the design on the inside of the hoodie. And even the kids can get in on the celebration. They have a kid's shirt here, 
a really cool kid's hat, a little trucker hat, and you can take home your own birthday Mickey plush. Still getting used to these projections here at the World of Disney Store. And I gotta say, they're, they're a really neat idea. And I don't think I've ever seen these before. These have to be brand new. They say most magical place on earth and they have gold ears on them. They also have a mug that matches it. Hmm, it's kind of cool. People do forget that Walt Disney World is the most magical place while Disneyland is the happiest place. Okay, this is so cool. This is for little kids. Explore the rivers of adventure. It's a little Jungle Cruise inspired shirt. You can see the hippo there. And that's some old school Jungle Cruise. The original Jungle Cruise, when it first opened, had the red and white top. And that looks like an old school skipper with the hat. And look at the style of the mom and dads. It's definitely 60s. That is so neat. I wish they had that for adults, but it seems like it's only for kids. And yes, the undershirt is connected to the t-shirt. Now these are so cool. Sully headbands. Back in the day, I used to Disney bound sometimes for those 24 hour events. I needed a pair of these because I had to make my own out of a hat and it looked terrible. This was made out of duct tape and it just, this would have come in handy. And I know it's a headband, but I feel like guys could wear this too. I'm loving this new look for a chef. I could definitely see myself wearing these, even though I really don't cook at all. I would totally wear this. Check out this new mug. I just figured out exactly what it is. It's books and a rose. These are inspired by the Disney princesses. So this one's for Belle. And then check this out. It's the coach with a C on it. That could be for Cinderella, Snow White's Wishing Well, and Princess Jasmine. You can see the, the flying carpet is the handle. Oh, and it has their signature on it too. They have aerials down here with a dingle hopper. And then Rapunzel from Tangled. Her sun logo and the tower right there on the mug. These are, these are kind of cool. Well, that's gonna do it for the World of Disney Store. I will say, looking up at this ceiling, I do miss everything that they used to have all in this area. I, I miss that stuff. I don't understand why it had to be taken down. All right, the last stop's gonna be inside the Marketplace Co-op. I'm gonna see if they have anything new to offer in this neat store. Here inside the dress shop, check this out for all you Epcot fans. They have a little Spaceship Earth inspired dress. And also, some ears to go along with it. It's very Epcot. And I do like to come in here and look at the different art pieces they have. Man, I really am digging this one right here. That is, that's pretty awesome. Well, I'll be honest with you guys, there's not a whole lot going on new inside the store. They seem to have just put the other merchandise that they had at the World of Disney store inside each of the little shops here. Except for that Epcot dress. That Epcot dress was pretty cool. And yeah, I think they only sell it here, the co-op. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of changes and a lot of new things coming to the good old Disney Springs or Downtown Disney as I still call it. But that's that's progress and it's good. I'm excited to see all the new things coming. It's going to be a cool, cool time. Well, you guys, I think that's going to do it here today at Disney Springs. I think we did everything there is to do, which means it's time to say goodbye. But if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button because it's free and it'll keep you updated with my latest video. If you would like to get an email update when I release a new video, ring that notification bell. And if you would like to support this channel, please visit my Patreon page at patreon.com slash world of mica where donating $1 a month can help fund episodes just like this. I'll see you on the next episode of World of Mica, everybody. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. <laughs>